with you, the Spirit is now in you and He is with you. And so that you can walk in the power of the Spirit, but you want to be more intentional about doing that. You want to make sure it's something that becomes a part of your experience. And walking in the power of the Spirit is a training habituation whereby you choose, remember again, trust the Father, abide in the Son, walk by the Spirit. I can choose to do that. And the more I do that, um, the more ordinary things become extraordinary. It's because there's no little people, no little places, no little things. But everything matters, every person matters, every encounter matters. So you may meet one, a person only one time in this life, but it could be, have an eternal impact. You do not know. And you don't know your impu- impact as well, your, your influence. I've said before that true fame is not in cognition, that is to say how many people know your name. True fame is in reception, how many people have received something from you. And that becomes organic and it becomes a multiplier that you can't even imagine then the, how it can have a, uh, an impact generation after a generation. It's an astonishing thing. And you yourself have been profoundly shaped by people who've loved you. And so their life is now part of your life.